I I felt like throwing up. That's that's has to that's has to rank as the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. What I saw in that first episode of um, The Boys, um, that is probably the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, for me, I'm one of those things, because it's a movie and everything, very few things will make me pause or literally go like, uh. but having someone literally enter into someone's penis and move around, I'm like, guys, I see for me, they've... They've, they've gone too far. They've gone way too far. Like, for me, I had to pause and be like, okay, that is just because... Uh, basically, even thinking about it now, I'm like... Ugh! Just, basically, to open with that in your first episode is crazy. And what a crazy power to have where he dude can go small, enter in anything, and then just fully expand. And look at what he, 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 did, he did to his partner. I mean, look, man. Um, you see, here's the, look, look, this is the best TV show out right now. And I think the beauty of the boys that's... This is where superhero things should be going. They, like when you look at MCU, MCU is freaking trash. It's garbage and it's all corporate. This is for me like because I have superhero fatigue. But if you're doing this with superheroes, this is cool because this is like we're now trying to make a real edgy drama that is very realistic, but with superheroes in it, which is what the, the boys is. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> for me, like for me, Starlight is just cheesy. Homeboy, I mean, Starlight is just cheesy for me. So I mean, I can I get her storyline, but I just find her character cheesy. But I mean, because I don't know whether you guys know who Dennis Quaid is and Meg Ryan. Like, bro, I know Dennis. No, I know Meg Ryan from back in the day. I know Meg Ryan from the eighties because <laughs> she was in. I think she was in Sleepless in Seattle with Tom Hanks. They're the parents of Jack Quaid, the the, the guy who plays. Is it um? Is it Stewie or Stewie? Like the the dude who who is the boyfriend of um starlight you know so yeah that's that's the son of dennis quaid and um what's it called meg meg, meg ryan you know so and, and look see whenever i say this, you you always say it's like nepotism and so forth which is why i think it slightly is with charlie sheen and john david washington well no this guy's a good actor like see, no this guy is a good actor this guy is it. So yes, he obviously got a foot in the door because over who his parents were, but the guy's the guy's a good actor. He really, really, he's a really good actor and he's one of the best characters in the show. Um so I think where we are with it right now, because I've always said to myself that Homelander can destroy everybody. Like literally nobody can stop him, and he could just decide us to just kill everyone and then destroy everyone. So what is stopping him from just going crazy? And I think the the angle is he wants to be loved and he really actually likes being loved and he loves and he likes the adulation and and so forth which is why um again the Giancarlo Esposito character who obviously was um Gus from Breaking Bad I'm like bro like how could you talk like that with Homelander because Homelander can just just snap your neck so how does he have that kind of power over him but I think Homelander just knows that bro he he, he needs the affection he needs love and he needs the acceptance and the approval, which is what he says to Starlight, which is that you like if you take away people's love from and everything, I have nothing to I have nothing to live for now. So literally, I'll just destroy everything. So all I have to live for, the only thing stopping me from literally lubricating and testing being this entire planet is people love me. People like me. So he's pretty much ruling by fear, which is an interesting thing to go through, man. And so I think the real angle now is wh how they find Soldier Boy, and whether that thing can actually kill your boy Homelander. So it's in a very interesting place, specifically with the angle of like Homelander and um, Starlight, and now sort of lovers. So obviously that's going to now cause beef with the Jack Quaid character. But obviously she has to do that because she said, "Look, well, you said I've got to stay here." I've got to keep homeboy happy, so I've got to keep on rolling with the punches. Um, so, so, so it's, it's, it's in a very interesting place. But I've got to say, though, I'm super impressed with Carl Urban, man. Um, who obviously plays Butcher. Just He's just got that accent spot on, pretty much. I mean, sometimes it's a little bit, like, forced, but 98% of the time it's like, man, the way... Because just some of the little things that he says, because it's a very particular Cockney accent, the guy just has a spot on, and I think he 
And the guy does a really good job. The guy does, does a really good job. And I come up on it. He's pretty solid in a lot of stuff. He was solid in Dread. I just watched... Um, I just watched Chronicles of Riddick a few days ago. It's really solid there in, in that as well. So and, and, and it was he had a small role in the Lord of the Rings, but it was alright there. So look, man, everything is every, it's all set. So it's pretty much about whether so they have to, so they're going to Russia, find Soldier Boy, who because my thing that's because obviously they have it's I think it's his kind of gentleman uncles or something. So does he age? Because are they now gonna find an older soldier boy? Because I what I think Will be interesting. No, no, no. Smith, they have to do that because he has to age. Unless soups do soups age, or maybe soups don't don't age. Because if soups age, then I'll be interested to know what um actor they have to play the older soldier boy man. But look, by all the anyway, is what it is. Really good. Really into the bottom guide. My God in heaven. That's first episode. I I felt like throwing up. That's that's has to that's has to rank as the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. That's <laughs> entering inside someone's penis. That is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. But despite that, really, really good and steady show. Just I think, you know, Frenchie, and I think it's the Japanese chick as well. Eh, I'm not feeling that storyline. See, that storyline, I'm not feeling too much, you know. And I, and Frenchie looks like Hazard. So I really like that character, but I'm not feeling that storyline. But beyond that, yeah, man, I'm really into... How do you stop Homelander, man? <laughs> How do you stop this freaking freak, man? Um, all right, guys. I'll see you for the episode four review when that drops. I think it's next Friday. Peace out. One through. Peace out. Stay true. One love.